Hi there, I hope you're doing very well. Very quick tutorial today. Essentially showing you how to bake rigid body dynamics. Now, just as a heads up, when you do rigid body, what it does is it actually caches it inside of the dot blend file. Now this might not be ideal when you're rendering on the network. So what we can actually do is we can actually bake these keyframes and it gives us a little bit more control over it in the end. So I've set up this beautiful scene and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of the objects. I'm going to quickly select all of the cell fracture objects. I'll come up to object. I'll go to rigid body and you can see here bake to keyframes. So if I click on this, it'll give me how many frames I would like to do and I'll hit OK. Now, depending on the size of the animation, how long it goes, it will take a couple of seconds. As you can see here, every single object has now been baked. So if I click play, it'll work pretty much like the way the simulation did. And if you click on each individual object, you'll see that these are all now keyframed. And just to demonstrate that this is working, you can see that rigid body is now disabled on the object. So I get this nice beautiful animation. When I go to render, I know everything will work perfectly fine. And that's one method how to bake animation keyframes for rigid body. Anyway, thanks for watching.